of course back of the boat after the typhoon destroyed everything those are all broken trees everything's broken that trees down on the ground all these trees here are broken and broke them all out here tore all the roofs off the houses out here destroyed almost everything they it's been about a month since the typhoon and people are scrapping together what they can to kind of put roofs back on their houses and stuff and so trying to return to normal but what we're doing because the tree fell down which is one of our things where we had shade and we tied all of our tarpaulins to it uh we don't have any tree now our closest tree is that one there so we're tying to that one over and we're doing these bamboo uprights here so all the bamboo uprights here and tied to that shed there and here and here so we're going to start putting a cross beam here a bamboo cross beam you see it on, on the floor there so we're resurrecting the tarpaulin so we can be under the shade because it's hot and dry. It's starting to get into the dry season now. January, February, March, April are kind of the dry season. I think April might be the hottest month too, not June or July like in the U.S. Or the, you know. So anyway, we're going to tie these up right now. So we're getting ready to take this to the top. And I'm going to put that up there. So i got to put down the phone. We're going to tie that bamboo up to there. So we'll be back with more tying bamboo from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for now. Here we are. We got our first cross beam up here for the bamboo, for the tarpaulin to go over the boat. So we've been working the shade after the typhoon blew all the trees down. And our, well, we actually took all of our tarpaulins down and wrapped the boats in. And that was the smartest thing we could have done because it would just blow on, it just rip the tarpaulins off. They'd be gone. And our boats were barely covered with just one thin, she, uh, one thin layer of the tarpaulin stuff. Now we got it like four or five layers folded and rolled up. See how we rolled the the line around and around and around and around to keep it all on, on there and put plywood on top and all kinds of stuff to just kind of keep it. And it worked. The, the, everything was fine. That tree fell there not over here so we're counting our blessings and this tree here fell that way not this way if it would fell this way it just crushed one or two of the holes and if that tree failed it crushed everything that was a huge tree right there but they fortunately fell the way we wanted them to fall so anyway we're going to connect these two bamboo poles here we're going to have to cut the end off of that one because it's because that's where the knot is we gotta cut that knot off so there's a hole we can stick this skinny end into this one here and then tie it up there and up here and then uh, we got the two cross beams going and then we only got to do the third one here but that one's kind of short so i don't know how we're going to make that longer or how we're going to manage that but that's our next challenge so we will be back with more from my paradise on italian island bye for now he's going to cut that knot off there Bye for now, everybody. What we're doing right now, see all this wire? Not wire, but fishing line. That's what we're using to tie some crisscrosses around here for our tarpaulin uh, support. So what we're doing, and, I, and you're gonna have a hard time seeing these lines, but you probably see all those three right there. Yeah, those three. And then we got another one here cutting across. So we're gonna have an X over to there, and from this corner over to this corner, plus all these other lines. See, we got a line here line there those are all going across like that so the the tarpaulin will run this way and then we got some like i said some cross wires to just keep it just so it doesn't sag you know so much between these other uh like rib wire rib lines so anyway just wanted to update you on that so we're gonna keep on doing that we got to run one more from that corner over to that corner and then from that corner over to that corner and then from that corner over to that corner and then we'll have uh, basically two x's going across here i doubt i'll do one from that far corner over to this one it might be just too much excess so because it is hot we got nothing but blue skies there's a little bit of cirrus i think clouds up there but basically hot <laughs> guys and we need some shade so that's our roll of tarpa and hopefully that's enough to at least handle it and we will put that on well we'll finish the x's and then we'll be back with more in my paradise on italian island we're putting the tarpaulin up get some shade baby bye hey, for baby. now look at that we got a tarpaulin baby and we got it all like tied up cross braced with the fishing line and all that's 80 pound test 
Uh, but then we pulled the covers off the boat. Well, there's some water in the boat from the typhoon. So we got a big sponge here. And that's really on these flat bottom boats. The sponge is the only way you, you can't get like a like a jug that you cut the top off of because it's round and it doesn't match up with the bottom here but that sponge is flat you can just lay that sponge down there and it just soaks up a bunch of water and then squeeze it out and back and forth but anyway we got a lot of dirt in here you can well i don't know maybe you can't see better see a lot of dirt and stuff from the typhoon so yeah clean all that out one of our saw horses went kind of a whopper jaw here we gotta get him fixed get him repaired the rest of the saw horses held their own pretty good this is a little bit tweaked but not much at all we, uh, this whole uh, mothership she had the most water in her uh, in this section here see this block there there's no drain holes going through there there's a drain hole from here right there and that that drains through and into here but the front of the the bow is low uh, so anyway we uh, sponged it all out got all this stuff out she's doing a little bit of housekeeping over there this one here we got all of our uh, trampoline frame wood that we epoxy coated and that was good because that kind of waterproofed it so that helped it so it's not all soaked up with water and stuff uh, like all the untreated wood. Those are our two bow covers there and there that go right here in this front bow area. Cover cover this up and goes back to this edge. They're they're good. Again, we uh, epoxy coated them. Epoxy and lacquer thinner mixture to thin it out so we could paint the epoxy on. Otherwise, epoxy is like peanut butter. It's just a thick, gooey mess and you can't really apply it like a thin coat coating the other thing we need to do is uh, uh, now that we got these epoxy coated we gotta let them kind of dry some because there is a little bit of dampness around the edges that will let them dry in the sun here uh, all of our uh, C clamps did great they're all unscrewable except for one one got a lot of rust in it so I got a WD-40 that and maybe bang it out or drop it in some vinegar to let it soak for few days and the vinegar will dissolve all that rust so the last thing we need to do is get all this wood out of here but before we do that we're going to get those little pieces of plywood they're about 12 14 inch wide about eight foot long plywood leg across here this is all of our uh, extra wood and stuff where the tree fell on it but we got to fix that we'll clean that up next so anyway this is uh, after the typhoon cleanup which is for us minimal we're blessed i mean really really blessed because like i said that big tree there fell here it didn't fall here that big tree there fell that way and didn't fall this way so we were really fortunate see there's a big limb off of that tree that cracked off right there that big that broken off part there yeah that huge tree and other pieces other limbs and stuff fell too but not here so we are counting our blessings so we're going to get to work now uh figuring out what the next step is next step is to fix this horse here so i gotta fix that but we gotta go into town and get some nails because we didn't bring any nails so we gotta run into there and grab some nails not into town actually there's a little hardware store just five minutes down the road there we'll go down there and grab some nails and uh get this thing all ship shape and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian island they survived the storm. Yeehaw. Bye for now.